G'day. We've had nearly two months of continuous rain in New South Wales, Australia, and that's made it particularly difficult to do a little experiment I've been thinking about, which is see if I can run my Tesla 100% on solar power using just the solar panels I have installed on my apartment roof. So I'm going to step you through this process as well as calculating what the electricity is costing me to run my Tesla. I purchased the Tesla in July 2021. I did notice an immediate spike in my electricity consumption. My provider is Origin Energy and they allow for 100% green power with a small additional per kilowatt fee. So unless it's a giant scam, I'm getting 100% renewable energy. The Tesla app shows the amount of energy being used by the vehicle and in most cases it's only a couple of dollars per day or none at all. In the nine months since I purchased the vehicle, I've traveled 13,004 kilometers. That works out to some 17,000 kilometers per year, which is just a little over the Australian average of about 15,000 kilometers per year. My apartment building has solar panels that I installed in 2011. However, these were only 1.5 kilowatts, which was state of the art at the time, but I decided when I purchased the Tesla that I would upgrade my solar panels in advance of taking delivery of the car. So I now have 6.5 kilowatts of solar panel generation on my roof. It's sufficient so that every 90 days I generate over 1600 kilowatts more than I use for my own consumption. This goes out to the grid and I get a small feed-in tariff paid to me by Origin Energy. When I first installed the solar panels, I went from power bills of approximately $210 per quarter to being about $50 in credit. So this was before I took delivery of the Tesla. The electricity used by the Tesla pushed my consumption from a credit up to $155 for the quarter. So let's use this data to calculate what it costs to run the Tesla. I've done 13,004 kilometres in nine months, which is about 14.44 per month. The car is using 143 kilowatts for that distance, and that works out at 0 0.09 kilowatts per kilometre travelled. That's $40 a month to travel that distance, which works out at 3 cents per kilometre. The amount of solar I use each day is the monthly 143 kilowatts divided by 31 days, giving us 4.61 kilowatts per day. Remember though, I'm generating over 1600 kilowatts per quarter more than I need. That's when it's not raining. So theoretically, the car is already solar powered. What I would really like to find out though is, is it possible to only charge the Tesla when it's sunny? On a cloudy and overcast day, my solar panels are putting out about 420 watts of power, which is very minimal. That's about 2.11 kilowatts per five hours on a rainy day. On a partially sunny but cloudy day, the solar output does get up to 1400 watts, and for a five hour day, that's more than the 4.61 kilowatts on average required to charge the Tesla. However, then there is nothing left to run my apartment. However, on a sunny day, I have seen the solar panels put out over five kilowatts of electricity, and for a five hour sunny day, that's nearly 25 kilowatts. It's only showing 4,000 watts here, but this is more than enough though to charge the car, run my apartment, as well as putting some surplus energy out to the grid. To get the maximum output requires ideal midsummer conditions with the sun directly overhead. The Tesla app allows for scheduling of the charging time, so I can change the app to enable scheduled charging, let's say at 8am in the morning when the sun comes up. I can then manually turn off charging from the Tesla app when the sun goes down at say 4pm. I've been running this trial now for 30 days. Let's have a look at the data and see how it's been working out. My driving patterns have remained the same. I've been allowing the Tesla to charge only when the sun is shining. The car automatically starts charging from 8 in the morning when the sun comes up and I can manually decide when I wish to turn the charging off. The Tesla app shows that my consumption is similar to a typical month with 140 kilowatts of consumption. I have used some grid energy to top up the car on a few occasions. However, my electricity consumption for the Tesla has been greatly reduced. 
So there you have it. With a bit more refinement, I should be able to eliminate the use of grid electricity completely and run the car 100% on solar power. Thanks for watching and while you're here, please subscribe.